Hello everyone, welcome to Next NEI Academy. In this video, we are going to learn about switch statement. This particular feature, we use it while creating the keyword driven framework. The next important control statement is switch statement. And a switch statement means it execute one statement from multiple condition. This is exactly reverse of if else if ladder let's come back to the slide after code implementation the first step let's create a class class name switch statement public static void main finish okay let's learn this concept with a sample program when you enter a number between 1 and 12 range it will display the respective month name for example, if you press 1, it will display Jan month. If you press 11, November month. If you press 5, May month. Like that, based on user input, it should display the respective month name. So by this time, you have a very clear idea about how to get user input using the scanner class. And then I am trying to get the number from the user, which is an integer and saving it to a variable month. Let's implement the switch statement switch bracket within this we have to pass the month variable then curly braces enter that's it the first step we are done now we have 12 scenarios right 1 2 3 like that based on number it should display the respective month name so the first one is case 1 1 means that number if a user press number 1 then it will display January month okay similarly if user press number 2 the output will be it's a February month same way we have to code for all the 12 cases let's try to modify one by one similarly i have coded till case 12 that is till december month by chance what if user press some value which is not in this 12 range then we have to tell enter a valid month that will be implemented using default statement in the if else if ladder the last statement was else statement no same way in the switch we have default statement by chance if user press some number which is not in the range then it will display enter the valid month let's try to execute this program still this program is not fully completed enter the number okay when i press 12 it's displaying December month but also it does displaying enter a valid month it is correct but why it is printing the last line okay one more execution if I press number 5 then it's a May month but still it is executing all the line I think if I press 1 it is displaying all the month and also enter a valid month the fix for this issue is once the particular month is executed it should come out of the switch statement so how to implement that we have a keyword called break if you include break whenever the statement execute it will come out of the control statement we can implement this break keyword in all the control statement let's try to include this to all the case i have included till case 12 for default you no need to include because it doesn't make sense no anyhow if this line is executed it will come out of the loop because that's the last row in some of the flow chart they included break statement to the default but you don't need to include this break to this default statement Okay, now we will execute the same program and see the difference. 
okay number five it's a may month number 11 it's a november month when i enter some wrong value enter a valid month our program is perfectly working based on the input always remember whenever we deals with the switch statement don't forget to mention this break if you miss this particular keyword then you won't get the required output the same program one more example just i am doing the code walk through now the reverse of previous program here based on the number it will display which month in this program based on the three letters you type it will display belongs to which number for example if you type jan it will display number one if you type march it will display number three for that we have to get the input from the user as a string data type so that object dot next line we have learned this concept already then this particular variable we are passing into the switch statement and uh, i have included one more method dot lower case we will be learning this method in string method in upcoming videos for time being just understand this method will try to convert the string to the lower case because some users will type jan like this jan like this so it is always safer side try to convert to lower case like that till case december then default value enter a valid month let's execute this program enter the first three letters of month name may so may belongs to number five okay capital j a n still it's working because it is converting to lower case number one what about december it's working let's give some invalid character so enter a valid month so let's move back to the slide now we will learn difference between switch statement and if else if ladder both look same but in if else if ladder one condition remember one condition from multiple statement one condition n statement but in switch statement one statement that is one statement from multiple condition so that's the difference because we are trying to check the this particular one statement with multiple condition in other words it tests the equality of a variable against multiple values so that's the difference between switch and else if ladder hope you got a very good clarity about this topic that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.